This is a letter that's written by a stalker to his victim, and he writes it on Reddit. We were walking in opposite directions near the new student accommodations. You briefly looked at me and kept walking, and a couple seconds later, I turned around and started following you. I noticed the moment that you realized that I was following you by how your pace changed. Your shoulders squared and you grabbed your phone, but that didn't stop me. You just kept walking and I maintained a distance, pretending to talk on my phone. I thought a couple of times on closing the distance and introducing myself to talk to you, but I didn't. So you kept walking, throwing glances to check where I was. I could also tell that you once turned around the corner to the dead end street next to the motorway where your car and mine was parked. Listen, this is where it gets like if you had been wearing your tennis shoes, you probably would have started running, but wisely you kept your pace in your high heel boots. I stopped by my car, yours was further down the street, and used my phone again. And I saw you taking a picture or a video of me when you passed by my car. You probably never noticed the other two guys the ones on the other sidewalk, the ones that pointed at you and started to follow you before we crossed the first time. You didn't notice how they looked at you or the fact that they seemed to be on drugs or a bit drunk or maybe both. You also didn't notice that when you passed me in your car that they were in the corner of the dead end street looking at you and your car passing by and then at me. You also missed the next 10 minutes while I waited in my car for the police to arrive. I called while you were getting into your car. The 15 minutes of questions that followed me, showing them a picture of the two guys that I took while I was following you. I'm sorry that I scared you, but to be completely honest, I was really scared myself. I'm no hero by any means, and my instinct was telling me to get out of there, but you could have been my wife or my daughter and I wouldn't have forgiven myself if something bad had happened to you. This was a letter posted on Reddit by a man stalking a woman. And somehow in his mind he believes that he's in the right. He provides an update. And he wants to clarify a couple things, so I'm going to read that. I shared this because the situation scared me, and if a similar situation happened somewhere else, I wish that the situation would not be ignored or shrugged off. Do I have any advice? I don't know. Probably just this. If you think that you are being followed or that something is wrong, don't wait to see what happens. Call the police, call a friend, a family member, knock on the door, get into a shop. Worst case scenario, you'll be a bit paranoid. She was carrying some sort of briefcase along her purse and was well dressed. I think that the briefcase was uh, was what called those guy caught those guys' attention. They seemed to be waiting for an opportunity. That was the main reason why I didn't approach. I was afraid that I would sort of trigger them and offer a second target. I called the police because if those guys were trying to assault her, more than likely it wasn't the first time and or they would go for another victim. If it was a mistake, worst case scenario, they spent 10 minutes talking to the police. I parked my car in the dead end of the street and was walking towards the city center. She was coming from the city center. Obviously, I didn't know where she was heading. If instead of turning to the dead-end street she had continued walking, I would have probably approached her or she would have reached another street that would, had more traffic and there would be more people walking around.
where are men getting this mentality of this is okay? This sounds exactly like the video that I posted last week from a man that's convinced himself that this is okay. They feel like that they're some sort of hero, that they're living out a fantasy that they're going to save someone like Batman does in a dark alley. I'll show the video from last week in this video because I want you to see the similarities between the two. And it's unbelievable. I'm going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. And uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know. Uh, does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there. And I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I was, I was like, oh, shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. Do you not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I, I only went, like, a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they, when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently, she didn't want to hear it, right? So, what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um, well, anyways, her her father called me up, and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so, I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's gonna stab me, like, but he, he's like cussing at me. He said that, or he did say that. He said he says I'm gonna do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter. Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. They're a little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Well, women don't like to be chased. What about like? If I was a father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDSM porn, where women like to be rape fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? What most women do like have fantasies. Okay. Do you think she does? I don't know. But well, apparently she don't. Well. So, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do to me. Do you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. His fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing is she needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, you gotta understand. Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well, we're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm I'm having discussion on. I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with I'm arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. We're this done. is a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if you, if you, if you do that on public property, I'll, you know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want to right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the yeah, song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow How up and I'm going to be a famous How? DJ and I'm going to be How? like. How old is she? Uh, two years older than me. 27. How much? 27. She's old enough to make her own mind. I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. Do you have her phone number? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go by her job. She works at right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her and then I'll get back with you, okay? Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you guys.